Hi, my name is Emily Burns, and the artwork I chose to present was Firle Baez's piece, To Breathe Full and Free, a declaration, a revisioning, a correction. Firle Baez is an artist from the Dominican Republic. She was born in 1981 and currently works in New York City. And she received an MFA from Hunter College, BFA from the Cooper Union School of Art, and studied at the Skoheden Hedgen School of Painting and Sculpture. Most of Baez's work centers around a theme of power. Throughout her artistic career, she uses symbolism and abstraction and works with large materials such as textiles, sculpture, and plant life to, re to reference folklore and literature. The piece that I chose, entitled To Breathe Full and Free, A Declaration, A Revisioning, A Correction, was created in 2021. This piece is a mixed media installation that also has sound. The materials used are acrylic, polystyrene foam, plywood, aluminum, rubber, perforated tarp, and over 32 audio tracks. This was Baez's largest sculptural installation she's ever made. It is also located at the ICA Watershed Gallery in Boston. Baez's goal was to reimagine the archeological ruins of the San Suchi Palace in Haiti. Here's an image of the palace. The San Suchi Palace is the historic palace of King Henry I of Haiti, and it was destroyed in an earthquake during the 19th century. It was also built by Henry Christophe, a former slave and revolutionary general from Haiti. The mixed media sculptural piece is reimagined as if this, these ruins were discovered instead in Boston after the water receded from the watershed floor. There are barnacles at the bottom of the ruins and the tarp that overhangs creates an aquatic feel to the artwork. The significance of the ICA Watershed Gallery in Boston is also noteworthy. Here's an image of where the ICA Watershed, Watershed Gallery is located in Boston. Nearby the gallery is a home and point of entry for immigrants throughout the history of Boston. Through the recreation of the San Suchi Palace and the location of the gallery, we can see Baez's merging of two distinct cultures, Caribbean and the Americas. When walking through this exhibition, the audience will journey through time. Baez uses materials such as perforated tarp to replicate sea growth that is native to the Caribbean. This tarp hangs from the ceiling covering the ruins. Additionally, there's patterning drawn throughout the installation inspired by West African indigo printing. All of these different materials and art forms used in this exhibit take influence from Europe, the Caribbean and Africa and symbolize the exchange of ideas and influence between these places. In addition to the tarp and sculpture, Baez has created a mural on the entry wall. We see this on our left. There is a 19th century map of Boston on the upper left-hand corner. And right here in the center lies a bouquet of flora and fauna native to the Caribbean. And Baez's impressive installation, To Breathe Full and Free, A Declaration, A Revisioning, A Correction, we see a merging of cultures throughout this piece. She connects her own culture and history from Haiti and the Dominican Republic Caribbean culture as a whole, African, and the United States to create this masterpiece.